guys, welcome to today's video. I hope you're all doing well. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know I'm a very minimalistic clothing person and that definitely translates into what I packed. I've shared with some of you that we're gonna be living abroad for the next two or three months. Everything that I packed for these next two or three months, I've packed in one carry-on luggage and one personal bag. So if you're curious to see what's in my travel capsule or if you just wanna know how I packed so minimally, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comments if there's any other content that you wanna see. So let's get into my travel capsule wardrobe. This is everything that I packed. So like I mentioned, I packed everything into a carry-on suitcase. Basically this is like an Amazon knockoff for like an away suitcase. It's a small size carry-on luggage. So this is the type that fits into the overhead compartments of basically any commercial standard flight. I will link a few other suitcases below if I can in the description because I don't think that this one is being sold anymore. This luggage particularly has really great spinner wheels, which is super important for miles of airports, cobblestones, the whole thing. So. Um, I really like this one. Inside my suitcase, the suitcase comes with four mesh zip pockets, then it has one side for compression straps to fit any items you want, and then a zipped compartment here to keep things nice and organized. In my mesh compartments, I like to pack one matching set and then one separate bikini bottom. I find that bikini bottoms pack a little bit easier and fold up smaller than the tops do. And that way I can kind of interchange and make two swimsuits out of just like one less item of clothing. I have all my reusable face masks in this pocket down here. I have an extra pair of glasses for, you know, just in case and a bunch of little travel tampons down here and then a pair of knit gloves and some like little tech accessories in here. In the main compartments of my suitcase, on the compression side, I normally carry my rain boots because I'm traveling in the spring. There's a really good chance of rain, so it was important for me to bring rain boots. Um, the type of rain boots I like to wear are Chelsea boots because I find that they're a little bit more versatile. You can wear them on days that are not raining and still look a little bit dressed up, a little bit stylish. I have my classic white Vans. I love a really classic tennis shoe like this because I feel that it's so versatile. It literally goes with everything. And then they're also sporty enough for you to actually do activities if you needed to. What else is on the compression side? I packed this light packable down jacket. This is just like the inner lining of a rain jacket that I already had from the brand free country, I think. But what I like about a jacket like this, it's really, really useful for those colder days. There are plenty of days so far that we've hit low 50s or high 40s weather. So having a light packable down like this is a really easy travel essential. It rolls up really small, easy to transport in a backpack even, um, but super easy in my suitcase. So I like to keep this on the compression side of my suitcase. Okay, what else? Oh, the only other thing that I put on the compression side with my shoes and my packable coat, and that is my toiletries bag. I recently got this on Amazon and have been obsessed with this, this whole design of this bag. It comes in this little zip tote, and then when you open it up, it has this little hook right here, so you can hang onto like a bathroom door, a towel rack, what have you. When I'm ready to go to another place, I just fold it all up and store it into my suitcase. What I love about this bag is that it fits full-size bottles of products. In the top part here, I have all of my little makeup items. The second section has all of my skincare. Any little first aid stuff fits in this little mesh zip underneath here. And then this, this last big zip compartment here is for all of my bath stuff. Basically all of my everyday toiletries. It's such a good little find on Amazon and I'll link this one down below for you if you're interested. Moving on to the zipped compartment of my suitcase is where I store all of my clothes. So I have two of these little storage cubes that I fit side by side next to each other in the zipped part of my suitcase. Um, one of these storage cubes I use for all of my undergarments, my pajamas, my loungewear, sportswear type of stuff. Um, they all pack really small and they fit really nicely in here. All my socks go in here, etc. So for my like undergarments, I basically packed um, three sports bras, which I really like for lounging around the house, doing workouts, and then also as like an extra bra. Um, another thing I like to do when I'm packing sports bras is pack 
ones that I like to kind of double as crop tops for warmer weather. The weather might start to get a little bit sunnier, a little bit hotter by the end of my trip. These little sports bras as crop tops. I have this one from Free People. This is the free throw crop. I have this in like three colors at home, but I just brought one. I don't have them here with me, but I have like a Lululemon Align sports tank. It's a really good sports bra top that actually looks kind of like a regular crop tank top. So I love that. And I brought my other sports bra tank from Beyond Yoga. That again is another really great sports bra slash crop top top. Yeah, and then I brought a neutral padded bra for, you know, special occasions, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, and just in case I needed it. Um, and then I packed all my panties in here. I packed about 10. I like to make sure I can go just a little over a week without doing laundry and not have to worry about clean underwear. Um, and then kind of similar for socks, I packed five pairs of socks. I'm personally okay re-wearing socks if I'm not doing a sweaty activity. So for me, five pairs of socks is perfect to carry me a little bit over a week. And then for pajamas, I just packed two pairs of pajamas, so two pajama tops and two pajama bottoms. What I like to do when I pack pajama tops is to kind of use them as like second shirts as well. So I tried to pack graphic tees that I personally like to wear out. I packed this graphic tee as something I really like to wear with jeans, for example. I packed a pair of light lounge shorts, which is just one of my favorite type of items to have when I'm home and just lounging around the house on a rainy day or something. The last thing that I packed in here that I didn't mention is um, leggings. So I packed three pairs of Lulu Align leggings. I really like those leggings because of how comfortable they are, but also how thin they are and how easy they are to pack. Pants are just one of those things that take a lot of space in your luggage, so I knew I would not be able to take a lot. So the way I supplemented that was by packing more leggings. And then they also double as workout wear. They also double as a second layer on really chilly days. And that's been really helpful because we have hit a few cold days while we've been here. Moving on to the clothing that I packed for day to day, I packed two pairs of pants. The first pair of pants I packed is a pair of neutral trousers. These trousers I got from And Other Stories. I really like packing a pair of neutral trousers like this, especially with the styles now. Trousers are really easy to dress casually these days with a t-shirt or a tank top, a denim jacket, but in case I wanted to go out to dinner or dress a little nicer, I thought that having some neutral slacks would be a really nice add to my wardrobe. The second pair of pants I brought were these pair of jeans. I'll show you what they look like. These pair of jeans are my favorite comfortable travel pants. They are super high-waisted, um, very loose in the, in the leg and the crotch, and so they're really comfortable to travel in. That was really important. And then for tops, I brought this white button-up blouse. This is an oversized linen blouse. I love a blouse like this because it's so easy to dress up as like a white button-up if I tuck this into my slacks. And it also doubles as a nice light jacket over a tank top or over a sports bra. I think it's a really cute layering piece. And then I packed two other basic tops. One is a white tank. I love a classic ribbed tank top. It's a really comfy piece for lounging around the house or layering underneath shirts or just wearing by itself. And then a classic white t-shirt, of course. My favorite white tee right now is the oxy cut type of shirt with longer sleeves. It just goes with everything and makes me feel super good and always at home. The last top that I packed is a light knit sweater. Because the weather is changing a lot during the season, I didn't want to pack something that was going to be super chunky and take a lot of space in my suitcase. So I went with this light knit cream sweater. Um, this sweater is one of my favorites. It's one of the most comfortable. It has a really interesting drapey silhouette, so I feel like it dresses up really well. And then it can also be worn really casually with a pair of blue jeans any day you want as well. So a really crucial piece to bring, especially during this season. Okay, the next couple pieces I brought, essential for me when I'm gonna be traveling on a plane or when I'm going away for a long time. So I packed this black oversized hoodie that I just absolutely love. I love cozying around the house in this. I love traveling on the plane in this when it gets cold. Um, it does take a little bit more space, but for me, this is a totally worth it piece. I also brought the matching pair of black sweatpants, which I don't know if I would pack again. I definitely liked the idea of having a matching sweatsuit for feeling more at home, especially on colder days, but um, yeah, it does kind of take a lot of space. Something I've been really loving to do, pair a hoodie with a 
denim jacket and I knew I really wanted to bring a denim jacket on this trip because of the spring weather. Brought my oversized ASOS denim jacket. I don't mind a Canadian tuxedo. I love wearing it with trousers. If I had a dress, I'd wear it with a dress. Such a staple piece um, to have in any wardrobe, especially in the spring. Okay, and the last thing that I packed for clothing is a pair of bike shorts for when the weather starts getting warmer and I didn't want to pack a pair of denim jeans because it A, takes more space and B, I don't think it's as versatile as a pair of bike shorts like this. I love that it also doubles as like functional workout wear or lounge wear. The other accessories that I should probably mention to you I brought were a warm knit beanie for those colder days. I brought a vintage baseball cap which I love to wear on those rainy days. Well, these are my essential little headwear pieces. I brought one pair of sunglasses. These are a pair of sunglasses that I bought really recently before I left New York. I just adore these. They just feel so cool and so blackout. Um, I really love these. And if I had to bring one pair of sunglasses, these were definitely the ones. And then for accessories, I also brought this belt bag. This is a Lululemon belt bag. Between this and a crossbody, I personally was preferring this belt bag because A, it packed smaller than a crossbody bag did because my crossbody straps are really long. And for me, I've been loving the look of this. But also, it is really functional. It's that old school fanny pack that people use for traveling. I love to carry like my passports, vaccination cards, um, lip balm, stuff like that. The last little thing I packed was an eye mask. I can't always control the light situation and I have a hard time sleeping so this little sleep mask has really helped me maintain a good night's sleep everywhere I go. Okay, so that is all I packed for clothing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Take everything that I packed with a grain of salt. It really depends on your personal lifestyle, what you're going to be doing. Like I said, I only carried one carry-on luggage and one personal bag for the whole two and a half months and my personal bag is filled to the brim with things. So I, I really have to show you guys what is in there. I hope you found it helpful and got a few tips about how you can pack a little bit smaller, a little bit tighter for your next long-term journey. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.